your boy Pro Goods Outdoors. I'm your host, Kai Samuel. And today's actually the last day of hunting season. I know I haven't been putting out that much content for y'all boys, just because I haven't been getting any action. Nothing's really came my way. Um, a lot of things have been coming close to me, but nothing really to make a video out, guy, video for you guys. Um, I wanna start posting better content, a lot more, a lot more, you know, basic story times. Let me turn this radio off real quick. A lot more story times. Um, a lot more story-based videos and like trying to tell a story to you guys. So um, that's kind of the reason why I've been posting the videos. I've been hunting hard. I've just been, ain't really been getting anything. Um, but yeah, um, right now we're actually um, hunting this piece of land. We're about to, I'm headed out to, to a place called a white pipe. And it's known for a lot of, a lot of deer. A lot of yeah, it's known for a lot of deer, but we ain't getting out a damn thing out there. So. Move on to the next hunt, I guess. Here we go. So I actually had a fellow hunter probably like 200 yards from me, actually had the coyotes run up on him. Um, he took two shots and I believe he missed. Um, but as you see um, during this video, there will be a lot more coyotes coming out of this area. And and I don't know why, but the dogs weren't actually running these coyotes. They were actually running deer, but the coyotes were definitely trying to get the hell out of it. So, yep, y'all guys just stay tuned because um, the action is gonna come here pretty soon. I heard there was multiple and multiple shots being rung out and it was both my brothers I am Captain Stan and Sammy Soldier shooting and at this moment at this point I knew they didn't get a deer like at this point I knew they didn't get a deer but as you watch the video I'm gonna play it right after this as you watch the video they do seem like they hit one of them but I'm gonna tell you Sammy Soldier and I am Captain Sam they both came out shooting this video. Here's the video. It's, it's right here in front of me. It's standing right there. I ain't got no fucking shells, bro. All right, so this is my brother Sammy Soldier's camera. And actually, if, since I zoomed in, you can actually see the deer. But the deer literally came out probably like 20, 30 yards from my other brother. I am Captain Sam. But he couldn't really see it just because of the broom straw that had grew up. Um, so they were really right in front of him. But he could not see it just because of the sun beaming his eyes and the broom straw but my brother the one that this camera is on um he literally had a perfect line on sight of those deer and the dude uh to the left of us um actually called called the 
the deer out before he even saw it. Like he was like the deer crossing the power line and he actually said, shoot him. You can hear it in the video. I said, shoot him. And that's when they started shooting. But um, yeah, these deer were probably like 40 or 50 yards from his from 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 Sammy Soldier. And I admit he should have blasted them. He should have dropped both of them on the ground, but he didn't. But um, they bled one for a good minute, and then they asked, they actually got one. So here's gonna be a good picture of of the little doe that he killed. <laughs> All right, as you can see, I'm filming my GoPro just turning around, and the dogs had just started jumping, and they were coming right for us. I had to get the camera on, and as you can see, in a couple seconds here, you got to see some shots ring off. I think just a couple shots. So, guys, I know I was talking all that trash at the beginning of the video, but here's me clearly missing two does that I should have killed. But um, me and my cousin both shot out here, and we clearly missed. Um, but that's really all for this hunt. I mean, this run, nothing really happened after this, but we're just going to move on to the next thing, and that's when it's going to get good. All right, guys, so here I am actually walking through this pick of briars, and I'm going to tell you this stuff. It is a look for little briars everywhere, and it was scraping my hands, scraping my face. But here I'm walking to the back to the Pacific and jump, just jump another two bucks after my brother just killed his. Um, so I'm walking back here, and I'm gonna tell you, these deer were on the move. We jumped these deer probably exactly where I'm at to the right of me, probably 100 yards to the right of me. And they, like you've seen the video of me pointing the gun, they were all the way in the back left corner in a matter of maybe 30 seconds. And I'm not even gonna lie, it is probably a good, you know, I wanna say a mile. To walk back there like it is a it is a good distance back there you walk from beginning to the end you see me pointing the gun and then here i'm telling them exactly where they're going hey they're going to the cornfield they're going to the cornfield <laughs> all right so those two shots that you heard were finishing shots off of off of the deer that my brother shot at, uh, the buck that my brother shot at. And right now I'm like, I'm just planning because I'm in like jealousy mode. Like I am in serious jealousy mode because my brother has killed just as big as a buck as, as I have. So I'm like, where can I go find another buck? You know, so I can I can um, kill him. I know they're in here. I know they're still in here. I know they're all there and haven't ran out because I know big bucks. Big bucks will let you run up right on top of them and then run. So. I'm just trying to plan out where I want to go to, to jump up a big buck. And this is just me planning in my head of where to jump a big buck. All right, so I'm putting my GoPro back on because I just took all my clothes off because it was super hot and put them around my waist. But I'm actually going back so I could take a different route because the route that I was about to take was super thick and I was not about to walk through that big show in this hot weather. It was about six degrees that day. And I know there was more deer in the back of this, this this cutover just because we had jumped one deer and then we jumped two more deer. So there's three deer already jumped. So we're so me, I'm hunting hard because I'm in full jealous mode because my brother had just killed a nice buck. And I'm just like, all right, I gotta kill a bigger buck than him because he's gonna be talking trash to me later. So I am like full on hunting mode. Like I am trying to hunt as far as I can to kill another big buck. So this is me walking back, and while I'm walking back, I actually hear a bunch of noise. Like in a few seconds, you hear a bunch of crackling, and it was another buck that had jumped up. So I'm gonna let this video go ahead and play out. What the? F oh, so there was a fellow hunter to the left of me, and the deer had jumped about. 10 to 15 yards to the right of me and I felt like it was a safe shot because I knew exactly where the hunter was but he probably didn't know exactly where I was but anyways when that deer had jumped up I did not know what he was you know I didn't know if it was a buck doe a uh, county or what I did not know what it was so when um I had finally saw him get out of that thick stuff um he had kind of bounded and that's when I saw his horns and it looked like he was a nice size buck you know I couldn't really picture everything but I knew he was a nice size buck and so I was like all right so I'm about to shoot so when I about to shoot, I just see his head bobbing. So I just shot where his head was. And I missed because um, we put the dogs on and the deer probably ran about five to 700 yards. And um, a fellow hunter killed him. So 
it wasn't a big buck. It was within the ears, probably 10 corner. And yeah, so that's really it um, for this hunt. I know this hunt was a little crazy. Um, but yeah, I, hopefully you guys liked, comment, and subscribe because I'm going to tell you next year we're going to give you a lot more content than this year. I'm sorry that, that this year was um, kind of a little bit slow. I've only This will be my second video just because I had no action. If I get no action, then I really don't want to post a video. So um, that's really it. I um, hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and roll the outro. This is Pro Gutters Outdoors. I'm your host, Kai Sam, and I'm out.